The concept of flying cars is one of those ideas that captured our imaginations for decades. I mean, from a young age, we imagine a sky full of cars that fly on airborne highways. Now the whole reason we love the idea of flying cars is, well, it's a solution promising relief to traffic congestion and enhanced mobility. However, upon closer examination, the allure of flying cars begin to wane as we confront the practical and ethical implications of this technology. While there are undoubtedly reasons to be fascinated by the idea of flying cars, we must also acknowledge the numerous flaws and challenges associated with their implementation. So let's start at the beginning. Why is this an idea that we are all fascinated by? Well, at first glance, the idea of flying cars seems appealing. The ability to soar above traffic, navigate in a straight line and bypass speed limits holds undeniable appeal. It conjures images of a convenient and exhilarating mode of transportation and the sights you could see when looking out of the window would be nothing short of spectacular. However, the reality is far more complicated. Landing a flying car on roads poses significant safety risks and the regulatory challenges of managing thousands of flying cars would be overwhelming for agencies like the FAA. I mean, if anybody can just fly wherever they want, whenever they want, it would be chaos and crashes would be inevitable and deadly. So what would be more likely is that dedicated eVTOL ports would be built, as well as specific places where you are allowed to lift off and fly, while other locations would be geo-blocked, similar to drones, limiting the convenience and spontaneity initially envisioned. Why do I say that they would be geo-blocked? Well, first, bad people are a thing. Imagine police chases in the air, or a peeping tom flying over your house over and over while you swim. Then you get air force bases. The government wouldn't be happy if you flied over their stations, airports. I mean, the list goes on and on. Furthermore, the current generation of EV tools often lack wheels, necessitating a transition to other forms of terrestrial transportation once flight is over. This adds inconvenience and cost to the overall journey, diminishing the advantages of flying cars. Now, there are concepts that do have wheels, but the concepts are normally single-seater vehicles with no luggage capacity and very basic features. And while flying cars may offer faster travel times, the limited range of many of the EV tolls, which is typically between 60 and 100 miles, undermine the practicality. Now remember, you still won't fly as the crow flies, as there would have to be dedicated air roads or paths or whatever you would call it. Then I thought maybe this cause would be appealing to the rich, but when talking about the super wealthy that own jets, they want to travel in luxury, chilling in the back with champagne and a cigar. I don't think being squashed in a small, tiny cockpit would be appealing to that crowd. Then another flaw. Let's talk about our planet and being green. Flying is inherently energy intensive and EV tolls being electric would place a significant strain on our already stretched electrical infrastructure. And here is the thing. Electricity isn't green. Producing the power needed is mostly made from burning fossil fuels. And in a world where we strive to transition to sustainable transportation, adding a fleet of energy-consuming flying vehicles may exacerbate the strain on resources and hinder our progress towards a greener future. While it is undeniable that the concept of flying cars is really cool, we must critically evaluate their practicality and social impact. Flying cars may have niche applications in specific industries, such as emergency services or remote transportation, but as a mass market solution, they appear to face significant challenges and limitations. So to end it off, as we envision the future of transportation, it is crucial to prioritize solutions that are sustainable, inclusive, and address the broader needs of society. Flying cars, while enticing, may not align with these goals. And I honestly think that the money spent investing in these things would be better used to explore alternative avenues that can provide an efficient and sustainable mobility for us all. But that's me. Let me know down below what you think. Um, did I miss something? Do you, do you think flying cars is a good idea? Um, I don't. I don't know how you stop them. Like, I mean, if a car breaks down, it leaves you next to the road. If that thing breaks in the air, you, you die. So I, I just don't think it's a good idea. But yeah, let me know down below what you thought of the video and what you think of this topic. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.